Moving on, Raiders at Patriots. What do you think of this one? Is uh, Las Vegas going to be able to keep up with Cam or no? If their offense looked good in what I saw on Monday night. Darren Waller um, is by far and away their number one option. Uh, 16 targets last week, eight targets the first week. Um, wow. You got to love that, man. That's that's wow. unbelievable. Um, so theoretically, the Patriots defense always does what they take away their best, you know, the offense's best option. That seems to be Waller. So they're going to they're going to bracket Waller because that's what they do. They're going to try an to extra stop man in the box for Josh Jacobs. Absolutely correct. And they're going to say, all right, um, Nelson Aguilar can try to beat us or Hunter Henry Renfro Ruggs. got hurt at the end of last week. Uh, Henry Ruggs. I, I can see them struggling in this game. I just don't see Derek Carr being able to outdo the Bill Belichick defense. I, uh, I think it's Pats by more than seven. Well, but there the line the line is New England minus six currently. Well, I would wondering. take I would take pet the Pats there to cover. There you go. Um, for the Patriots, the question is: Is Nikhil Harry a thing? He certainly was last week. However, I don't really envision a lot of shootouts coming for New England. Um, I mean, they're going to be ahead in most games. Cam is so good. That offense is so good with him there. As long as Cam is healthy, not having to really throw the ball a whole lot. Uh, they were just in catch up mode all week last week against Russ. I don't think they're going to be in catch up mode against Las Vegas. I am fading Nikhil Harry this week. Um, Man, did Julian Edelman look good, though. Wow. Yeah, that's um, what I was going to go with, too. Man. He, he was great. I just don't I mean, think that this team is going to support two receivers on a regular basis. And we all know that Julian Edelman, historically, he's been, what, a top 10 wide receiver the last, like, two years. Um, and I, I would expect that to continue. Um, 11 targets last week, seven targets week one. Um, both weeks over 10 fantasy points and a half PPR. Um, he got the crap kicked out of him by Seattle secondary, but, um, yeah, he, I, I don't understand why he was going in the seventh or eighth round when he has the pedigree. I think people were maybe fading cam that a little bit, but cam has looked super accurate. Um, I I'm all in on, on Julian Edelman the rest of the year. Yeah, uh, one thing I would say that I'm excited for from the uh, Patriots backfield perspective is that Damian Harris could potentially return from IR next week and maybe potentially be inserted as the starting running back for the Patriots. So that would potentially excite me because I think he could be a three down guy. And Sony Michelle is just brutal this year. But I think we all saw that one coming or most of us anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Damian uh, Harris might might have been dropped in your league if you're listening to this. So he's potentially somebody that you should go out and, and get a week early before oh yeah. he, he pops up on all the waiver wire shows next week. I was going to say, he's uh, going to be on every waiver wire show next week. Is a hey, if this guy was dropped by your whoever that had a bunch of injuries, then you should pick him up. But it's like, well, just pick him up now and don't spend any fab on him. Correct. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.